When dealing with early phases of architecture design, we need to generate numerous different possibilities as quickly as possible. These initial massings may be done by exploring various constraints, contextual considerations, program fit-out tests, or conceptual frameworks. I am deeply aware of this process as I have experienced it numerous times as a project designer working in London. In those situations, I have been extremely grateful to have deep knowledge of how to create these types of studies with Blender. Whereas other software forces you to be either too precise or too structured, Blender has allowed me to be as precise or imprecise as I would like to be. And with the inherent and easy to use procedure workflows, Blender is my secret power hose for iterating quickly and efficiently in order to deliver refined architectural concepts as quickly as possible. I am very excited to share these strategies with you in this course. Here you will be learning specific workflows for generating numerous architectural massings with ease. You will achieve this new knowledge by creating massings and concepts for a staggered building, mimicking the typical design ideation process that most professionals and students utilize in the early stages of the design process. The goal of this course is to equip you with a series of workflow strategies that enable you to ideate and bring more of your ideas out more quickly and effectively. The workflow is broken up into three parts. In part one, you will learn how to create quick massings, both non-destructively and destructively, in edit mode. We will investigate turning some of those massings into more developed architectural concepts, portraying a sense of scale and proportion. While still part in early ideation phase, these architectural concepts will provide snapshots to understand and communicate whether the project is evolving in the desired direction without needing to resolve all the project's parameters. In this phase, we will first look at modifying a massing to create topological continuity. Second, we will investigate procedural techniques of generating architectural concepts from the earlier sets of massings. The intent is to provide you with highly creative workflows by reducing the manual process of editing the massings to a minimum. In this step-by-step -step process, the techniques become more advanced, where eventually you will learn how to further streamline the process with geometry nodes into an almost completely automated massing and architectural concept generation process. Presenting work is as important as generating the work, hence why we believe it is as essential to provide knowledge for you that teaches you how to present concepts effectively. This includes creating hidden line type renderings, isometric cameras, and laying your models in a manner that showcases your design process, thinking to the stakeholders. By the end of this course, you will Reduce the time you spent on creating massings in the earliest ideation phases of design. Enable more creative output of your ideas by learning how to work more effectively with Blender's inherent procedural workflows. Produce designs more efficiently with geometry nodes and the tissue add-on. And compellingly record and present your design processes. I'm your instructor, Dimitar, and I look forward to seeing you in the course.